and welcome to Make Code Arcade. Today, we're going to learn how to start a new project. To do that, we go to arcade.makecode.com and you'll see our home screen and you'll see this big old button here that says new project. Click that button and give your project a name. Arcade will open up into a screen that looks a lot like this. Let me give you a tour, shall we? Over here, you'll have your simulator. Sometimes, if you're on a tablet or mobile device, your simulator will end up down here, but you can pop it open and you'll have all the same functionality. You've got your screen where your code will show up. You've got your joypad that will let you move characters around. You've got your A button, your B button, your reset, and a menu. Down here, you have a stop so that you can keep your game from loading if you've done something really long or really noisy. You have a restart, a debug feature, a toggle sound, the key code for all your keyboard needs, a way to take a snapshot of your project, and a way to blow your project to full screen. In the middle, we have our toolbox. Our toolbox has a lot of blocks in it. Sometimes it's really hard to find the blocks you need. For that, just start typing in the search box and it will give you a selection of blocks that meet your needs. When you find a block you wanna use, drag it into your workspace. This is your workspace over here where you will write your code. In general, your code will have these container blocks, which are events, and that tells your code when to run. This one runs my code on start or whenever this reloads. We've put a block inside that sets a sprite, and a sprite is just a 2D character that can change and move around and do all sorts of things in your game. To add a sprite, we're going to click in this box right here, and now we're put in our image editor. We could draw a sprite of our own, or if we want something else, we're just not feeling it today, you can click on the gallery, and there's all these sprites to pick from. I'm going to choose a puppy, but I don't want my puppy facing that direction. I want it facing this direction. So I'm going to click one of the flip and rotate buttons and get it facing the way I want. I'm gonna give my puppy a name, clever, and click done. There we go. Now watch your simulator and your puppy appears. This simulator is very important because it lets you make sure that your code is doing what you want it to. Sometimes you get a lot of code on your screen or sometimes it might be hard to read the code that you have there. You can use your zoom in and zoom out buttons to set your workspace to the level where you like to see it. You also have undo and redo buttons in case you make mistakes. Up at the top are three options. You can code in blocks or you can code in text. For text, you have the option of JavaScript or Python. And over here, you have an assets tab. That keeps track of the assets you're using in your projects. From here, you can select your assets and edit them, duplicate them, or copy them to your clipboard. You could make a new asset by clicking the green button and choosing the kind of asset you want to create. At the bottom here, you'll see you have a title based on the name you gave your project in the beginning. You can save your project to your computer as a PNG file that looks like an image that you can find on your hard drive. But when you grab it and drag it into Arcade, it will load all the code that you had when you clicked save or you can click this button and upload it to a GitHub repository if you have one. Finally, over here, you can click this button to download your project to whatever kind of arcade hardware you might have at home. But don't worry, you don't need hardware in order to enjoy arcade. You can play it right from your simulator on your computer or your mobile phone. And that is all you need to know to get ready to make your first project in Microsoft Make Code Arcade. Till next time, happy coding.